The hack is put some clothing on your carbs. So anytime you eat something sweet, think about adding to that sweet food some clothing, meaning some protein, some fat, or some fiber. In the case of a chocolate cake, and as you know by now, I'm a big chocolate fan. If you're having a chocolate cake in the middle of the afternoon, add to it some Greek yogurt or maybe 10 almonds. That way you're adding some protein and some fat to that sugar and it's going to slow down how quickly that sugar makes its way to your bloodstream, therefore reducing the spike, therefore reducing the glucose roller coaster and reducing the addiction that the cake might kick off for the rest of the day. So there is some truth to this. What she says does indeed, in fact, actually reduce it when such combinations are used. But in my opinion, this is done to comfort sweet tooths. That's how I perceive it. Eat a little delicious cake and, and have two very tasty nuts. It's all very easy. It is necessary to measure how much the blood sugar level increases or does not increase. Here, the esteemed doctor Olga Mikhailovna Pavlova is speaking on the internet. Take a look at her presentation. They are available online. I have great respect for her. In my book, which has already been successfully published, Biochemistry for Nutritionists, I even mentioned her, this renowned doctor, who really advises using various combinations. But it also depends on how many components are in the combination. If, for example, a sweet tooth, a girl eats a cake, and a few nuts, then she has technically received some additional protein and some fats. Yes, but how much in relation to each other? This is such a comforting way to eat sweets. Therefore, I, for example, categorically, especially since you are sure that your cake is made from natural products like good butter and sour cream obtained from natural milk, I, for example, I'm not very sure at the moment, so I emphasize all of this. And do you not eat products that contain a significant amount of palm oil? Then new problems arise. What do you eat these products with? So I advise, to be honest, if you love chocolate, for example, the cocoa butter content should be at least 80%, preferably 85%. That's the kind of chocolate. 85% is just wonderful. This is how they are. They are made in a sneaky way, unclear from what, where there is almost no cocoa butter and one has a lot of filler. This kind of chocolate, so-called bitter chocolate, yes, you can eat it, please. Even diabetics are allowed to. As for cakes and everything else, I told you that there are currently no guarantees. And later, when years of such eating have passed, one may bitterly regret it.